Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Cynthia Oliva of Kasikoy Crochet. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my Tinkerbell inspired crochet hat. For this project, I'm using Indofil yarn. It is a customized one because it has 6 ply and a local brand so you can order from Yarn Temptations. So as you can see, it has 6 strands. For the hook, I'm using 3.5 millimeter. We will also need a pair of scissors, tapestry needle, tape measure. By the way, I'm making this hat for a circumference of 42 centimeter. For this hat, I'm gonna be using a flower, so I have a tutorial for that. And if you want this one, we have from Handmade Crochet by Edna. Aside from these, we will also need a green yarn and stuffing, fabric glue, and beads. Okay, so to begin with our project, of course, we have to make a magic ring. Now we're going to begin all the rounds by making two chains which will be equivalent to one double crochet. So every time I do that, that will be equivalent to one double crochet. So for round one, we have two chains or one double crochet plus another 12 double crochets in the magic ring to make 13 double crochets. Continue this until you have 13 and after that, slip stitch on the second chain that we did in the beginning now for round two we will begin by making two chains which will be equivalent to one double crochet and on the same stitch will be another double crochet now for the next stitches we will just place two double crochets on each of them let me show you for the last time so we will just place two double crochets on this very last stitch so one and two after this slip stitch on the second chain for round three begin again by making two chains and then on the next stitch place two double crochets so this will be an increase. Okay, on the next one, we will place one double crochet and then increase on the next by placing two double crochets on the same stitch. Continue this process until you reach the end of this round. Then, close this round by making a slip stitch. And for round 4, make 2 chains. On the next stitch, place 1 double crochet. And then on the third, place 2 double crochets. So we are just basically placing one double crochet on the next two stitches and then two double crochets or an increase on the third. Okay, so let me show you again. One double crochet on one stitch, another one on the next, and an increase on the third. Okay, just continue this process until you reach the end. And don't forget to slip stitch. For round 5, make 1 double crochet on the next 3 stitches. So we have 1 for the 2 chains 
and then another two okay and for the fourth stitch we will increase by placing two double crochets okay so you must have five double crochets already again one double crochet another one and another one so we have three and for the fourth one we will have an increase to make it five so if you have five rows you must have five double crochets already on this round now for rounds 6 to 12 it will be easier because you will only be placing one double crochet on each of the stitches so at this point we are already forming a curve on the hat so this is how it looks like upon finishing the 12th round when you finish this round you don't actually need to cut the yarn you can continue the next stitches without cutting the yarn since I have cut it I'm gonna attach it again and place a single crochet then I'll skip one stitch and make shell stitches so again skip one single crochet and then this is the shell stitch let me show you again because I wasn't able to clearly show you this part so skip one after making the single crochet you skip one stitch and double crochet on the next you place four double crochet on this same stitch so this will be our shell stitches okay so now I have two shell stitches now after this you skip one chain and single crochet on the next again shell stitch but of course you have to skip one stitch first and then continue by making shell stitches so you will just basically do this and continue until you reach the end of the round okay so this is the end I'm going to slip stitch here on the very first single crochet I did and then don't forget to chain one and finally you can cut your yarn now I'm gonna be making this circular shape above so you are just basically doing the same pattern so what we did previously will be the same as this one the difference is that we're just going to make 10 double crochets in the magic ring so for the hat we made 13 double crochets so for this one we're going to make a smaller version so it will just be 10 double crochets now for round two again place two double crochets on each of the stitches just like what we did here and then for the third round one double crochet and two double crochets on the next again a little reminder so the two chains that we do every time we start our round so that will be considered as one double crochet now for round four one double crochet on the next two stitches and two double crochet or an increase on the third so this is going to be the last row with increases so for the fifth and sixth rounds we are going to place one double crochet on each of the stitches to finally be able to uh, form a curve and then for round seven we are going to decrease by placing one double crochet on the next two stitches and two double crochets together okay so one and two and pull through all of these three so that's how you do a double crochet together so again one double crochet on one stitch 
another one double crochet on one stitch and double crochet together pull through and then yarn over pull through two and then pull through three okay so that's how you do a double crochet together so you just continue this until you reach the end and don't forget to slip stitch now we've reached the last round the eighth round so we will decrease again by making one double crochet and two double crochet together okay so i'm going to show you on the next so here's the double crochet together one double crochet and then on the next two will be a decrease so we will have double crochet together okay so one Another one pull through two and three okay so you just repeat that until you reach the end and close the round by making a slip stitch at this point we're going to place the stuffing inside and to attach this we just have to weave it Okay, so at this point we're done weaving now we're going to hide the stitches by placing a ribbon or a lace so we're going to grab our green yarn make a slip knot and then make a number of chains so you can make as long as you want just make sure that you'll be able to create a ribbon out of it we can add the flower you can also put beads here at the center of the flower so use the fabric glue to attach them or you can also weave this into the hat when you've done this part then you have completed the Tinkerbell crochet hat or actually this is Tinkerbell's hair so i hope you like this video guys and if you do please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so by the way i'm gonna be making a new tutorial for this one that fits to one year old but i already have a crochet tutorial for tinkerbell dress so you can also watch this and that's it thank you for watching and i hope to see you on my next video